All right, today I have a brand new Mac Mini uh, M2 that I am going to be incorporating into my live rig. Um, what I want to be able to do is run main stage alongside my Kurtzwell K2700 um, and my iPad, which is running Camelot Pro and some, uh, some additional plugins. What I'd like to do, at least to start, is this is perfect world. I can continue to use Camelot Pro to manage my set list and my charts and send program changes out to the Kurtzwell and to MainStage uh, and be able to ensure that I use that as my primary interface. Um, if I need to, I also want to be able to use the iPad as a monitor so I can see what's going on in MainStage. I know that's probably a lot to do with one device. and. Worst case scenario, I suppose I could get something like a seven inch little monitor just to constantly see what's happening in main stage and plop it on top of the console. So what I'm gonna do is open up this baby and connect it to uh, the internet so I can download some stuff. All right, for all you unboxing fans out there, let's crack this baby open. Let's see what we got here. For this uh, freaking thing to set up, this is not my first foray into All right, now the goal is to use the iPad as a monitor for. I didn't need the HDMI cable. It is still a slight mess of uh, adapters, but I can clean that up because I have a, a few different hubs. I just. I have a power top. I think I can use that instead. So the camera connect kit and then USB to the iMac. Oh. I can see a mirrored display, which is really cool. So I'm not seeing the performance screen on here. I'm still seeing so. desktop. You see here, we got duplicate. So let's say I'm, I'm working with okay. this thing called continuity. Anyone know what that is? I don't know. Probably built into the iPad. Uh, so I can see what's happening there. I can actually use my mouse. Okay, I can, I can see that. Um, can't do anything. But that's fine. Right now, I'm not worried about that. All right, got Camelot open and looking at a chart. Well, let's go to a song that has a, uh, a chart on. I don't really care what's happening in the background, but if I need to, I should be able to double click. And open up that screen now all right slight downside i don't know if there's a way to fix that i'll check settings love it to be this way i know that's not ideal but that's how my ipad is going to be mounted for so that's pretty good so i can see what's happening i'm planning on bringing a bluetooth uh, apple keyboard bluetooth magic mouse just in case i need to actually get in there and do anything but remember the ultimate goal is this sits in a rack I don't ever really have to think about it because I pre-configured everything. As long as Camelot is managing the traffic, um, this should just play along nicely. I don't have to see it. But being able to see it would be nice, at least song names, so I know that I'm All right, tracking Here you can correctly. see I have set up a main stage template in my multi-section here. And the way this works is if we go to edit, you can see I'm using the silent program in zone one. And then if we come over here to main stage, you can see I've got my Kurtzwell it's set up on channel one. So I can handle all my splits and layers for my main stage sounds over here. But then using the other zones over here, I can add in different sounds. Um, cool thing is with these templates, I have one for B3 so I can map all the sliders and so forth. Um, I have the standard one if I'm only using main stage. Uh, here's an example where I'm just calling up a patch that is um, on the Kurtzwell here. So nothing coming out of main stage. Main stage is just telling the Kurtzwell to play this patch. So you can see it's a... So, and then I can mix and match. So for I'm gonna crawl, 
You can see I have two zones lit up here. Now we already know that one is going to be the Kurtzwell. So if I turn that off, I can see that zone two, sorry, I had that backwards. One is main stage, two in this case is going to be the Kurtzwell. So I have an analog string setup, but then I have another layer of analog string set up here, which is a little bit different timbre. Nice thing is, if main stage completely craps the bed, um, I can still manage my uh, programs by scrolling through the multis. And if something's not coming through on main stage, just turn that off or I don't even read. So you got to be very careful about how you set these up. Very deliberate and planful.